Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Richard Schneeman. I wanted to quickly introduce Ruby hashes to you. So a Ruby hash is going to be like a struct or a dictionary if you have any uh, computer science background in some other languages. A uh, dictionary kind of kind of makes sense that terminology I like using um, because when a human uses a dictionary, they are looking for a word or we might want to call that a key, and they get a value from that key or a definition. An example, this is just a screenshot of a dictionary. Um, you know, we didn't know how to, what the definition for gouge was, so we, we looked up a keyword of gouge, and we got the definition of a chisel with a concave blade used in carpentry, sculpture, um, and surgery. Uh, so similarly, we can use a hash in Ruby. We have these um, keywords that we have on the left, and we have a hash rocket pointing at the value. Um, and hashes are gonna be embraced in these little uh, curly braces. So here we are setting a variable of animals equal to a hash that contains a key of cow pointing at a value of moo, a, and then a, another key of dog pointing at a value of woof. In order to get values out of those hashes, you can um, just use standard brackets, the square brackets, and then pass in the key. So if you pass uh, a key of cow into the animal's hash, it will return back the value of moo. Um, and similarly, if you uh, pass in the value of dog, the, the key of dog, you will get the value of wolf. Um, if you wanted to add things to an already existing hash, you can use that same um, syntax, except we have a equal sign. So um, you act like you'd be getting the value for a key, but you set it to something. So here we are taking a key of cat and adding a value of meow to it. So then if we inspect that uh, that hash, so call animals.inspect, you will get um, you know get this output. So anything inside of a Ruby, any object, or most any object, can be a key inside of a hash. We can also have nested hashes. Um, and uh, a lot of people like to use symbols for their keys. A symbol is an immutable string inside of Ruby. They're, uh, they're very useful, but it is, they're rather different from a, uh, a, a string other than just the way they look. Um, you could also have numbers, and in uh, Ruby 1.9, we do have a shortcut, a shorthand way of displaying hashes. Um, so here, we would actually, uh, we could say cow colon moo and dog colon wolf, and that is identical to um, symbol cow hash rocket moo, symbol dog hash rocket wolf. Um, the cow colon will produce a symbol of cow. Um, note that that only works in Ruby 1.9. It is not backported. If you if you write that code in using Ruby 1.9, then you will not be able to run it in Ruby 1.8. Um, Ruby 1.9 is the standard right now, so um, that should be okay. That should be fine. And I believe Rails, uh, the upcoming Rails 4.0 release, will actually be dropping support for Ruby 1.8. Um, so it is should be considered pretty safe to just go ahead and use the new syntax, but you uh, you will probably, if you see either one of those, just know that it, it relates to a hash and you can look it up. So hopefully you learned a little bit uh, about hashes today. Uh, as always, you can fire up IRB and create your own hashes. Um, so we're gonna make a, make a hash here um, and we can say my uh, food, uh, pizza. And um, let me see. Number. My favorite number is going to be um, you know, 23 for now. So now that we have all those stored in a hash of Richard, we can just get them back. Richard. Um, food. There you go. Um, we can also ask what uh, class that is. So Richard.class. That's a hash. Um, and methods, uh, you could iterate over it. You can call dot each um, do key value.
is a value. There you go. So food is a pizza for Richard. Number is uh, 23 for Richard. Um, so these are just all different types of things you can do with, with hashes. Um, as I mentioned, you can also have um, nested hashes. So we could, we could um, say something along the lines of uh, maybe I, I made a movie. And you know, inside of this, we could put the title of the movie. Naturally, that would be Star Wars. And uh, so we can call Richard movie and get that. So if you want to get into nested hashes, that would that would be how you would get that. Um, now these hashes are just going to be methods again for storing keys and values. They're very very handy for um, passing data whenever you don't want to make uh, full blown classes. It's uh, it, it, we're going to see it using params inside of Rails. So again, thank you very much for tuning in and have a great day.